Hello YouTube, welcome back to Learning Life and Loving Radio Scanners. I'm your host, Tommy Cunningham. In today's video, what I would like to talk to you guys a little bit about in um, this video, I've been doing a lot of thinking. And, and in this video, I would like to talk to you guys a little bit about, and this is probably going to be a lot used to like talking about radio scanners. You guys are probably going to think about Tommy. What are you thinking about on talking about on today's video? So today's video, what I would like to talk to you guys mostly about in this, in this video, um, this video I'm making especially, and I mean especially for the people that is like, like, like think, like think about like a, a good location to like, like just step away from the world and like, and like just take it. Just honestly, just, just take it in you guys, okay? The, the first tip that I really do recommend is that the first, the first big thing that I really, really do recommend is that the radio scanner feeds inside the United States. You know, and if I show you guys this on my computer, so, so this right here is reareference.com, okay? This is a good website for anybody that is looking at a good radio scanner and much more. So if I click on right here, then if we go on to like, I forgot that area. So if we go up here and uh, so if we go to Belize, I want to show you guys something there, okay? Because the radio frequencies in Belize gets really kind of interesting, okay? So you see on here, right here, Cruise Tender Coronation Marine Channel 58. And you see right there that 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 is like a business radio frequency. Just, just give me a minute, you guys. Um... I got to uh, pull it up on here on my TV, and then this will probably get get like more interesting because we're going to start talking about tips and stuff for anybody that is looking for like a brand new area for like listening to famous radio scanner feeds and. Like going to like a brand new area. Okay. So if I if I show you guys my computer. So if I turn you guys around, so you guys see that the pilot, okay? The pilot on there uses marine channel 12. Okay. That right there is so the pilot knows whenever the cruise term tender coronation can comply with the other area. So if we go back to Belize and we go here, and we type in the letter P, and we look here, I'll show you guys this one. So if we go here, we click on colon, okay? So if we click on here and we go to businesses and colon, we see that they got a private security, okay? So they got a private security base and they also got a security ops channel. So if we go back a little bit and we go down here, okay, 
I mean, if we go here to countywide, okay? So you see down here, the Panama Canal uses these three systems right here, okay? So this one is for the Gatun Locks. Talkers, individual calls, phone patches are not in use. These are mostly for side four and side two only uses it by all means, which which makes this really kind of interesting. So if we click on like their Tetra, which that shows you like all the gates, like everything that you guys can imagine to listen to. So you see on there, those are the frequencies for that Tetra system, okay? So if we go over here and we go down to the Tesla standard system, okay? You see, this system right here doesn't have anything going on. That makes this so interesting. So if we go here to the Panama Canal Railroad, you think... You think, you guys, the radio scanner feeds on these websites would work a lot better with more people listening to them, okay? But they don't even give out like this right here. This is important right here. Just to show the talk groups and stuff, okay? So if we go on down to Panama National Government, all right, so you see right here, they got Panama City as these three red radio scanner channels, okay? Then they got two radio channels right here. So you see the National Police got Panama City Dispatch on three channels, okay? Then after that, you got Police National, the Los Pedos area, the Polinol, Police Narcotics, and, and they also got a prison channel, which, which that's pretty much it on their police department. So if we go over here to click on this one, okay, Tell me if I lost you guys, because this right here is getting really interesting, okay? So you see Gatun Locks, the single station, and all of these, it's like what they listen to, okay? Then after that, Acorn 140, Canal Area, and then these are the transportation frequencies. Now, the thing is, I don't see nothing, and I, and I mean hardly anything on, like, the radio frequencies for, like, colon, of course, because they are a port. So, if we go on right here to this one, you see that they only got that star security in base. So, if we go to the national government agencies, we got, like, the civilian aerospace place, which does, like, all these channels. You got, like, like economy ministries, which uses that one. This one's for health. You got housing, international. You got, like, marine which this right here, you got the Basel port and, and the Barine, port of Arena. So this one right here is the Panama Commission right here, or Screwworms. So they got three repeater channels there. Now on the miscellaneous, they got these channels right here for Panama government. Now the thing is, to listen to this stuff, and if we go to like here, then we go up here, 
Hold on, I passed it. Then we go to Costa Rica. Costa Rica, which is right here. And we click on go right here. Then after that, we click on the countywide channel. This right here is pretty much everything that Costa Rica has. So you see, Lima is Marine Channel 12 and Marine Channel 14. Now we go on down, we got Marine Channel 12, which honestly, that right there can tell you that the, that, that port right there gets pretty busy, okay? So if we go to their public safety channel, we got the MSP sector control, sector null, and sector shore. And then after that, we got these three, these four frequencies right up here. And then you got a red cross, which is really important on this, you guys. Just to say, this Lima... National Airport, you see that they only use an ATIS. So that's Automated Terminal Information Channel. So this right here is for Approach, Ground, and Tower. Now, if we go here to Browse, then we go down to uh, this area. Then we click on here, Harris. Then we go to Hobby Airport, which is honestly like one, one of the best this radio feeds you guys can listen to no matter what. So if we go here to Hobby Airport, so you see they got like tower on the emergency helicopters in Maine. They got Southwest Dispatch and Operations Maintenance. They got Allegiant Air. They got American. So there is like a lot of choices for different people to do that. So we see down here on the Southwest ramp and wheelchair, they use those channels and and a lot of people are wondering, Tommy, so if you ever listen to these channels, like, what do you get? Uh, that is a great question. And I'm sorry to say this because I have never been there. I don't know. That's my question. So if we go... Hold on, I did not want to show you that. So if we go here to this one, and then we go to uh, Florida, no. Um, well, let's go here. I should have wrote down some stuff I wanted to show you guys because... This is getting into a wild video. So if we go here to Charlotte Douglas, okay? Let's start here, okay? So we got Air Services International 1. That's for feeling. Then you got TSA, KCLT TSA Repeater. Then you got all those channels right there for approach. Now, you got ground east, you got ground west. Now, down here, you see that American Airlines, they use most of their channels out of here. But we keep on going down. Here is like Delta. Delta's got dispatch and ops. Then we got JetBlue, Latanza, UPS United Air. Some tells me that Southwest doesn't go out of here. Then we got hangar operations, 
hangar security, and then we got the PSA airline operation one and operation two. We got JetBlue, we got Delta, we got Continental, we got Mesa Air. Now you guys are probably wondering what does their trunk radio system look like? So if I put that on and we look at the talk groups, we got airport operations, we got airport maintenance, parking, baggage, housekeeping, ground keeping, shuttles, airport security, and Ops 26, which all those can be easily listened to no matter what. All right? I'm just saying this, okay? So if we go over to like colleges, okay? They got the University of North Carolina at Charlotte, okay? This right here is their police right here. Then they got this, this one. Then they got housing. They got parking and transportation. They got student activity center. They got parking and transportation center. Then this right here, these are like all the radio frequencies that that, that area that I just talked about uses, okay? Then we go to the businesses, which they got the Carolina Medical Center, they got the Carolina Prime Outlets, which is that Prime Outlet is, I'm sorry to say this, but what that Prime Outlet does not give a chance. Then after that, you got these churches like South Rock School, uh, South Rock Church, and Frost Hill Church. You got construction. Then you got 101 Independence Center, the Typhoon, South Tryon. Then you got the Bank of America corporate building. Now going on down, we got Fresh Olay right there. We got taxi cabs. We got a square center. And then we got Wake Forest University Charlotte Center. Then we got Wells Fargo, which there's, they use one Wells Fargo, which is for security and maintenance. And then they got the bb t ballpark. Now on Cave Lens, this one, it's pretty interesting, okay? That right there is their ID numbers. Not a lot of theme parks show that because they don't want to see that, okay? So then after that, you got security, you got resale, managers, Carolina Harbor Water Park, food and beverage, park EMTs, first aid talk or parking lot security, parking emergency, food and beverage, Retail and games, food carts, maintenance A, maintenance B, maintenance E, ride operations, maintenance D, financial services, and, fi and fireworks tiny. Okay. So, so what I'm trying to get to at this. Is that if you guys are going to Carolina and wanting to check that place out, make sure you guys are looking in the right area. So this system right here, most all stadium operations are on this next edge session. Unsure if the analog frequencies are still in use. So you see on here, they got dispatch, operation, security, main kitchen, clean, guest resources, shows pros, suites, suites catering, entertainment, and TV production. 
So, so, so that right there is just telling you guys what kind of rare resources that we can listen to if we have our mind to it, okay? So I, I hope, I hope this video helps out anybody that is doing research on your areas. If you guys need any help, and I mean need any help, unlike radio scanners or something else you guys would like to show me good websites to listen to. So please, if you guys are new to that channel, please make sure hit that subscribe button, ding that notification bell, so you guys will not miss out on any videos in YouTube. I will see you guys back here tomorrow for another YouTube. Have a great day.